Hello students, this is Chef Andrew here. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a basic tomato sauce for pasta dishes. So, I've set up my mise en place already, and I'll give you the measurements right now real quick. We're going to start off with some oil. Some olive oil is really good for tomato sauces. We have one cup of small diced white onion, three cups of plum tomatoes crushed. Uh, I usually like getting the cans that have the basil already inside so we have good flavors. Three cloves of garlic minced. One teaspoon of oregano. Two teaspoons of dried basil. One peel from an orange. I'll explain this when we start making the pasta sauce. One tablespoon of tomato paste for thickening. And then three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Uh, we use that in place of red wine. So, now that I have my mise en place ready, I'm ready to get started. I have a pan going. So, I'm going to add my oil to my hot pan. Just going to drizzle roughly about a tablespoon or so into it. And then in goes my onions. Now at this point we're just sweating the onions. We're not looking for caramelization to happen, all right? When the onions are about halfway sweated, when they're halfway, about 50% uh, translucent, we're gonna go ahead and add our garlic. And I went ahead and minced my garlic with salt to help with a little flavor and also help gather all those uh, liquids that the garlic releases as you're mincing it, all right? Again, we're just gonna sweat this with the onions. No browning. You definitely do not want a browning process right now, especially with the garlic, as the garlic has a very acrid or bitter taste when it gets burnt. All right, we're just looking for a sweat. I'm also looking for a nice sweet onion garlic smell. And the onions are just about done. So now we're gonna add our tomatoes. Now I used um, plum tomatoes from the can. Um, already pre-crushed, but if you wanna make sure you need them really well crushed, we want all the liquid as well. So you just use it, that's why I'm wearing a glove. We're just gonna get in here and we're just gonna smash them and make sure that we have no large pieces. And once this is cooked through, the pieces will be softer and much more pliable in the sauce. All right. We can even later take a handheld blender to the sauce if we still think it's a little too chunky than what we're looking for. All right. So we'll add that in. Give this a good stir.
I'm going to add in my tomato paste, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half worth. I want my sauce really thick and clingy so that when it gets onto the pasta, it really holds onto the starch. All right. We're going to give that a good stir to get that paste in there. Now, since we're using dried herbs, we can put these in earlier to help flavor our sauce. Um, if we were using fresh herbs, I would not add these until the last part of the cooking process. Uh, but I want this to simmer for a couple hours and develop really good flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and add the dried herbs now. Along with our red wine vinegar. And I'm also going to throw in the orange peel. Now, you're probably wondering, wh what is he doing with the orange peel? A lot of people have recommendations when they, when they come to a tomato sauce, and if it's too bitter, too acrid because of the tomatoes, they throw in sugar. Um, that's actually not the right thing you should be doing. You should actually be adding in an orange peel. Um, the orange peel will help flavor the sauce and take away from that acrid, tomatoey, bitter taste that you sometimes get, especially with tan uh, canned tomatoes. All right, so I'm just gonna let this go in there and I can pull it out later. Uh, this is not something you eat, it's just for flavor. I'm gonna give this a good stir. Make sure all the spices have been blended with the tomatoes, the orange peels underneath, doing what it needs to be doing. All right, last step is, I'm gonna put some fresh pepper in here. Some salt. Give it a good mix. And now I'm literally going to let this simmer for at least two to three hours with the lid on. Obviously tomatoes like to pop, all right? Once the two or three hours has passed, the sauce is ready to be used. At this point, we can use it for anything. We can make a bolognese sauce out of it, a ragu, uh, just throw some vegetables in it and throw it on the pasta and then we're all set. But that is your basic tomato sauce.